this has some very practical consequences. Well, when it comes to financial power, it's the U.S. that absolutely has that strength. And so the various sanctions that have been reimposed by President Trump since he walked away from the Iran nuclear deal last year have damaged Iran's economy. And here's a specific sector of Iran's economy, right? The Iranian, uh, sorry, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the IRGC, and the Quds Force, named for the Arabic word for Jerusalem, Quds. Um, they export violence according to U.S. officials, in neighboring Iraq, also in Syria, and in other countries. And so the Trump administration says it's just telling the truth, recognizing reality, saying that that group supports terrorism and is a terrorist force. But still, within Iran, it's like part of the military. People go around in uniform. It's obviously paid by the Iranian government. This is a very, very strong thing for the U.S. government to do. Uh, I'll just add that at the Pentagon, military officials say that more than 600 U.S. soldiers are dead because of the IRGC and the Quds Force blamed for laying a lot of roadside bombs in Iraq for the last 15 years or so. And Kalev. And Dan